Let's go to one more. The next one says you have the right to complain. So we're talking about benefits of the victim mentality. You get the right to complain. Now, what do we know about complaining? We talked about how, first of all, in the Bible, the children of Israel were roaming in the wilderness for 40 years because they were murmuring and complaining. So I did a study on this to find out what is the deal with murmuring and complaining? Well, did you know that scientists have proven that the more you complain, literally your brain becomes mush. It actually, it, it actually causes you to lose certain neurons that actually feed your brain so that you can't even think clearly. So complaining is a terrible negative thing, but if you have a victim mentality, you will see complaining as a benefit because guess what? I can complain about everything. It don't matter what mm -hmm. you do. If you bring me flowers, I can complain about the type of flowers that you have. I actually have a client who is, has, was dealing with someone that no matter what they did, Okay, if they brought flowers, there was a complaint. Why'd you give me these heavy flowers? If they gave them a gift, oh my God, now I've got to carry these gifts. Like if you want to be a complainer and mm -hmm. have a victim mentality, you will find a way to complain about everything, but there is a backlash and that is your brain literally becomes there it is. That's Isn't so that crazy. That's so true. And that's it's so biblical. True. So if, if murmuring and complaining is an issue for God, you got to know that there's some real reason behind it. And science has proven that there's a reason to not complain. Oh, man, I hope this is helping somebody. I hope you're getting something out of this. And because what we want to do is we want to break down these strongholds that we've held on to for so long that justify why we do what we do. Yeah. All right, let's go to the next benefit that the victim mentality individual has. They're more likely to get what they want. Like if I'm complaining and if I'm making it about me and if I rob you of an ability to have a feeling or an opinion and I have the right to have certain needs met and the right to complain and you don't, yes. then whatever my request, dare I say demand, yeah. most likely there's a higher probability that's going to be met because it's my, listen, whatever I need to do to get you to a better place, I'll do it. What do you want? Okay, that's what you want. Fine, I'll do it. Tell me what, okay, I'll do it. And I keep doing and doing and doing and doing. And then you realize, wait a minute, um, there's benefits to this. I don't have to get better. I don't have to heal. I can stay in this spot because now I'm getting finally what I want. So now you're leaning into something for the benefits and rewards. And it does. It's not mutually beneficial for that particular relationship. It's almost like you're holding your partner hostage to what they did, knowing full well they are trying, they're doing better. But still, if you actually let them off the hook, look at all the benefits I'll lose. I can't control them with the past offense anymore and get them to do whatever I want to keep me happy. So I'm just going to stay right here and take these benefits on. Absolutely.